You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out a vintage toy for you today. This is the Tomy Big Loader Construction Set. Before I go any further, I do want to say thanks to everybody who has been supporting Lucky Penny Shop. And anybody new to the channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. If you can, when you get to the end of the video, share it on social media, give it a thumbs up. And most important, check that link in the description to more videos. All right, I have been looking for one of these for quite a long time. So when I happened upon a garage sale, and I saw it there very unexpectedly, um, there was a $10 price tag on it. Now, I didn't want to pay $10, so I offered $8, but then ended up paying $10 because it worked. She got batteries and tested it for me. The construction set that does it all. Loads, fills, scoops, switches, hauls, dumps, reverses. Trucking around construction town, Big Loader picks them up and lays them down. Ages 5 to 11, here's everything that's in there. There is absolutely nothing else on the box in regards to the bottom. But here I am, usually, a lot of times, I will actually prep the toy before the video. Today, I thought I would just do this all on camera with you. So today is going to be prep and clean and see if it works. And then I will add some actual driving and testing of the vehicle and another video and partly on this one so what i'm doing now is i am going to look at how dirty everything is there are three turns there are four straightaways now when i was checking this out i noticed there was some broken track so that's something you need to look for but to find it like this complete is always a nice thing here's the piece i found in the box this is like a front loader. And then I noticed the front loader has a magnet, but then this does not. So I don't know if they're missing or they're just not required on all the vehicles, but the circle is there. Track. And what I normally would do with a toy like this is just give everything a nice cleaning. I'm gonna do some of that on video and then set it up. And here's just a little connector piece. She was worried this was missing, but it happened to be in the box. And then a turn section. And then these are the little balls that they use for the loading and unloading of uh, material through this construction set. My guess is maybe that the stickers weren't originally on there and you had to put them on. And then here is the vehicle. Now this just pops open. It's tested two double a batteries everything worked and then also have to worry about the tracks that they're in good condition because it will not work very well without that this is a scooping and loading section and then the last piece of track let's just see how dirty everything is so here i'm going to take a paper towel i'm just going to spray it like this a lot of times i will not spray directly on the item and let's just take well, let's take this and just see. So I'll just give that a cleaning. Okay, not too bad. And then I do see a lot of debris in the channel there where the truck rides. So then I will do this. I will get this sprayed. Now we will see. Okay, that is dirty. So... A lot of times I'll have to just thin this down like it doesn't fit too well in the channel there. Okay, look how dirty that is. So I will want to clean all of the parts just like this. And it takes time when you're working with older toys to get it clean. Now I could run it without cleaning it, but I do like to show it in its best light so to do that i've got to clean it let's do this track right here wow look how dirty that is in there huh let's wipe the track okay now a lot of times i bought stuff and you could tell they were in a pet home like a cat and there's cat hair everywhere so that's why I like to clean things off. I think I'm going to have to get more of these cotton swabs. 
Here we go. Well, let me wet this one. Okay, so not to bore you with this. Pretty dirty in there. I will get through all the gray track and then I will come back with all these. And then, uh, yeah, there is some dirt in this one. So that's obviously, you hear that? That's where these tires grip onto this and that's why it's important to have that gription. Now I noticed this is the pins that keep it in the track. It's got this neat little in and out so you store it, the pins are hidden, okay? And then that fits in there like that. And that's how it travels. All right, let me put that down. All right, so as I go through this, I will keep checking back. And then uh, we'll continue on as I clean through this to get it all set up. Okay, I was finishing up the last gray piece and realized if you look at this flipper here, there's a little piece of foam in there, which is kind of like that deteriorating foam, but that acts as a little pressure on that. The brown section did not have that. Now I had some white foam, which should work. So I cut a piece and I will just put that in here. And these are the kind of things that you may not need to do, but I just want to make sure I get it to its optimal performance. Okay, let's see. All right. Nice. All right, that is set. Now I was cleaning this one. Everything else looks good because I think after this I am going to start putting the sections together before I clean the orange pieces. Let's see how dirty this is. Pretty dirty. Okay, and then I noticed there's a stain right there. So let's see if that comes up. Basically what I'm showing you is how I do a lot of prep, especially with older toys, to get them ready for a video. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Let's see if I can at least put a few pieces together. I got the box off to the side. Let's see, so this one, is like this and then there's the connector like this. Now I haven't found which piece is broken yet. We will see. Let's just see how they connect. Okay so they snap together and lock in on those little pins. Did you get a good look at that? Sometimes I forget to stop. Now there's a straightaway here. Okay. And then a turn on this end. And let's see, looks like it goes like that. Looks like you kind of need to level it out and make sure that it's ready to lock in. Okay. And then a straight. And then the red bridge. I don't want to go too much further because I want to add some more, well, reddish oranges. I want to add uh, some more height to the camera and give us a full shot of the whole area. Okay. Now these are very important. Those are what actually stop and control the different parts of the vehicles. All right, perfect. Okay, let me do this. I will uh, change the camera and come back and then complete setting this up. Okay, let's continue the assembly now. It looks like I need to turn right off this. Okay. And then two straightaways at least. So let me get a couple of these together. I still haven't found the broken piece yet. It's probably, hopefully it's not too important. I might have to do some glue fixing to that. Okay, it looks like that, and then it ends with uh, the bigger platform, this one, and then like this, I think. Unless there's just one here. It's hard to tell from the box, and I don't have the... No, I think it's two. We'll just try two, because I don't think there's much more on the straightaway sections. There's going to be a turn here. Oh, there's... Is that it? Broken there? I think so. 
Okay, and then the tall section. That's going to go to this. All right, let's see which way these are going to go like this and like this. Okay, are you seeing all that? I'm not even looking to see if I have the camera in check there. And then this is going to go towards the inside. Okay, this has got a little dumping mechanism in it. And then this connects to this. I think I got it. Let's see. Okay. All right. This goes here. And then this. Now the little construction marbles, we'll call them, travel down here and they go through this little serpentine area here. And then that looks like it connects to that and that. Oh, perfect. And this is going to go all the way over here. Now, if I didn't have this piece, I wasn't too worried about because I think I can bend something that would do that if I really needed to. And then the last piece is this. It looks like a some type of chute. Okay. All right. And that goes, I believe, to the truck. Once the truck's in this section and the other section. So it looks like this is going to stand somewhere here. I'll have to check this. I'll go over this one more time. Looks like that's going to go, wait, maybe not. It's going to go this way, I believe. Okay. I'll tell you what, I think I got all the pieces. This one here now. It's facing towards the track going out. And then this one here looks like it's going to go. Let me just turn this all around. Right about here, like this. Let's see. I'm not sure which way it's going to go yet. Looks like it goes this way because it's going to back in and out. All right. Last thing to check is that. I think uh, we start with the marble somewhere so I'll figure that out. I'm going to put them in here just to start here and see if this is important. I don't know yet. All right. Let me get some batteries in this. We'll take a look at this real quick and then we will uh, I'll give it all a test. All right time to check out the most important piece. Now I was going to see if the gears inside needed some lubrication which I will do once I test this out and see how it runs. That would definitely take it to the next level. Now there is this little lever. This is what's hitting these little pins, I believe. So you can control the direction by pushing down and that'll stop it and reverse it. This, ah, the on. And the arrow looks like it's going this way. So you set this on. Let's just see. Oh, put these pins down. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's reverse it. Okay, so that's working. Oh, it drove through. Oh, wait a minute. I'm jumping the gun here. It looks like it's working. All right, I do want to show you this better. So when this comes back around, we'll see. Well, let's just see if it finishes out here and does what it's supposed to do. Okay, little issue there. That works, that works. Okay, so something's going on here. Okay. Now what it's doing here, it looks like it's almost like a three-point turn. So it can reverse. Uh-oh. Now that's going to be a problem. So let me just move this a little closer here. It looks like it's going to have a hard time with that. Oh, it didn't drop them off. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> come back here. Aha. So there might be an issue. Okay, we want to go reverse. Okay. No, don't restart. There we go. Uh-oh. All right. So that, oh, it looks like the trap is out there. It must have came off when I 
kidding. All right, let me make some adjustments here. Let me see if I can get the traction better. I think it's running pretty good. Maybe I'll take it apart anyway, just so we can take a look at the inside guts. So I'll be right back and we'll take a look at the inside. All right, the three screws are out. Let's remove this. Okay, interesting. It looks like there was some kind of burn there. Let me see if I can clean that off. I'm not sure what that is. You see it on here? I don't know if that's going to make a difference to the connector on the inside. And then, let's do this. Let me get my silicone spray. Now I'm using a WD-40 water-resistant silicone. So I'll spray a little bit of that on another Q-tip. Now this is smelly, so... And I'll do it like this, and I'll just give a little bit on there. Okay, and then I'll just touch the end of the motor here, because that's kind of where it's spinning there. And then it's spinning in here. Okay, and then I notice this tire here is not on straight. This one, look at this one. So something's going on with that tire. So before I go any further, everything else looks good in there. I guess you could, if you want, add a little lubrication to the, the wheel area here, wherever you can. You don't want to spray it right in there. And then let's get this back on. Okay, and then I will put this back together and then investigate this wheel. So let me do that. Let me get my little screwdriver. Now you have to be careful with the electric screwdriver like this. Just go slow. Alright, so I gotta fix that one wheel and see what's going on with the traction. This one's hard to get to. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I'll tighten that one up, come back, and then we'll take a look at that wheel. Okay, so I was gonna take one of my tools and just see. And just press this in and see if it's free floating. It is. All right, so that's better. Press this one in. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. I fixed the track on the other side. It could just be that these teeth are worn. And I wonder if a super tiny fresh rubber band would aid in that area. All right, so I'm going to come back now. Got this all set. And let's just give it a test one more time here. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a test now. Everything's been uh, cleaned, prepped, and ready to go. Let's see. Going the right way. Okay, still struggling on that turn. Remember, I had a hard time backing up here. We'll see. Okay, a little bit struggle there. That should not fall over. Okay, that's working. They're definitely having a hard time on the track here. I've only picked up two. Oh, you're not doing your job, buddy. Let's see if it makes it up the hill now. Okay, three-point turn. Oh, it's doing it. Ah, it did it. Nice. Okay, let's just see if putting some uh, rubber bands on the wheels helps. Let me let this go through one more time. Hmm, I wonder why it's falling over here. Come on, pick them all up this time. Oh, I did it. Oh, left one. I know, you don't want to hear it struggle. Three pointers. Now, I might be able to send it back here. Watch, let's see. Yeah, finish your job, buddy. All right, it's having a real hard time there. Oh, I left that last one.
Oh, you're having a hard time this time, huh? Whew. All right, so let me show you the bottom. This is actually what's telling it to switch forward and reverse. I don't think there's any more left. Let's see, maybe one more in there. Oh, there. Oh yeah, no, it dropped them off. What am I thinking? Ah, I keep leaving one. Made it that time. Nice. All right, let me turn this off. Let me grab some of my rubber band here. Let me test it. And I will see what fits on there, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I have one rubber band on this side because I don't want to lift this side up too much because this little second gear in here, I notice, is the one that's hitting the tracks. There's these other gears further in. Which you can't see. Maybe you can see it here. No, there isn't one there. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the bridge top. If you look up here, this one here. That's hitting that inner gear on the wheel. Probably to give it extra traction, slow it down, or to aid in the movement around the track. So let's get this thing on. So now you see I have one band on one wheel. That turn went better. A little sticky there still. Well, let's see if that uh, front loader has a... Yeah, that's the stickiest spot. I don't know, it just has a real hard time. Well, it did it on its own that time. Let's see if it makes it up the hill with that rubber band on. That works good. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say thanks for watching. I'm going to give you a little bit more of this actually running. But I think I might make a second video of just this in action, showing all the different sections. But I'll do some of that now, and then I'll have another video just following up this video. So remember now, if you can, ooh. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for being a fan of Lucky Penny Shop. There's that trouble spot. Look at that description for the playlist of more cool toys. And thanks for watching. Later.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.